Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. My name is Jeremy Jacobs. I'm fall down, I guess. Maybe not. Okay. Um, and uh, I was before most of you on Monday evening, as uh, former Mayor Rowden was, uh, on the same issue. And so I wanted to talk about maybe something slightly different this evening, as you heard all of those comments, or most of you heard all those comments on Monday evening. Um, I wanted to address the uh, biblical foundation of what we're attempting to do, and I don't know if all of you are believers or not. I am. Um, and in Genesis chapter 4, uh, the first instance of innocent bloodshed in the Bible, um, God is speaking to Cain. And in verse 10, he says, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened his mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. And there's a, a principle that's in this first occurrence that innocent bloodshed defiles the land. Um, and so I would encourage the, the city of Wright City to keep the shedding of innocent blood out of its city because the bloodshed of innocent people on the land of Wright City will defile the land in, in Wright City. Um, and so, uh, just to address a slightly uh, a related point there, um, for those that might say that, well, I'm personally pro-life, um, but I don't know that, that I can really touch this issue, um, I, would, I would make, you know, even as, as former Mayor Rowden Kind of alluded to there, I'd make a, a similar allegory in that how can I say I'm personally against murder, but I'm not really going to make a stand against people murdering other people, or I'm personally against child abuse, but I'm not really going to take a stand against that. And then in the same instance, science is very clear that life begins at conception. We have our 46 unique chromosomes at conception. Uh, human DNA will always always has in, the, in recorded history turned into a human and not some other life form at conception. Everything is unique to the individual that is in the womb. This is a life at conception and it deserves, though it is innocent and voiceless, it deserves to be defended just as anyone else who's outside of the womb. It's just a matter of placement and where you're at inside the womb or outside the womb. It's still a unique human being and deserves to be defended. So if you would be willing to stand up uh, and say that murder is wrong and it goes beyond just my personal conviction conviction that I'm just I'm personally against murder then we should be willing to stand and say we're more than just personally pro-life we are against the killing of the unborn so yeah, I would urge, I understand that there's a review process but I would urge one of you to go ahead and sponsor that or maybe several of you I don't know how the process works if there can be co-sponsors but many of you can sponsor them this uh, this ordinance and move it forward through the process. So, thank you for your time this evening. Thank you, sir.